Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 9th through the 15th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, so if you are looking for a money reading or a career reading, then this reading is not for you. These two just flipped over, so we need to take them. You guys may be removing some obstacles from your life. There could be a divorce on the horizon or a split. Um, I'm not sure, but it feels as though things are unbalanced right now. Um, somebody could be in denial with that Eight of Swords reversed, you know, letting their head get the best of them, knowing that something has kept them, is keeping them stuck. And it's keeping them unbalanced, not willing to, not wanting to deal with a karmic situation. You know, that's what's going on here. Somebody has a new opportunity, okay, with this Five of Cups. This is a new opportunity that they don't even see. Focusing on the hurt, focusing on the loss, focusing on the disappointment. When we do have two upright cups, which is the Two of Cups waiting for you. It's, it's waiting for you. But that Justice reversed, that is treating yourself unfairly it's like you're doing an injustice to yourself by staying trapped in a situation somebody is trapped and it's because they they don't they can't find their backbone somebody doesn't have backbone to do what's right okay um but there definitely could be a divorce that somebody's thinking about these are both can signify divorce um there's some sort of blockage okay you are definitely being blocked in some arena look at the reversals oh my god um you don't know you don't even see your light virgo okay the empress upright she sees her light she knows she's beautiful she knows she has opportunities at every sit corner okay in the upright you don't you don't realize that you have other opportunities waiting for you there's opportunities like right in front of you that you don't even see or you're not acknowledging. It's like you're not you're not having faith. You're not following your own path. You know, other people see that there is a lack of content here. They do. The other people see that you aren't believing in yourself, that you don't have faith, or something like that. Your challenge is standing up for yourself, and you're not doing it. It's like oh, you're very indecisive here. Jeez, I'm crow. Yeah, it's time for you guys to move on to a place of happiness, a place of uh, bliss. But you have to do it. You have to do it. The thing is, is that Ace of Pentacles reverse, that's an opportunity that's being rejected. It is. You guys, you, either you're not seeing it or you're not accepting it. You're rejecting a new opportunity that you've manifested. You want this, but you're rejecting it, whatever it is. Oh, my God. Okay? So... There's a lack of compatibility in a situation in your life. There's no compatibility. Or, you know, and it feels like you're in denial. That's what I see here. So I feel as though there is, there could, there could definitely be a breakup, a divorce, a split on the horizon for you. Or there has been, and you're, you're slowly moving to peace. You're starting to bring some peace back to your life. If you've already left, peace is starting to come. But it feels as though there's a lot of, um, injustice here but i think it's self-imposed it's self-imposed injustice because you guys are living in a in some mental turmoil that you're allowing yourself to stay in you're allowing it that's what i see so let me get this zoomed in we want to talk about the future but if this is what's going on right now i mean i can't change that the only one that can is you so that two of cups with the Hierophant and the justice reversed, that is possibly a split, a breakup, a goodbye, goodbye. I can't commit myself to this anymore. There's too much incompatibility. There's too much fighting, too many arguments. I, there's too much unhappiness here. You're blocking happiness. I'm, it's being blocked right now. Um, I want to know... Jesus crow, I've been shuffling and a flipping. You guys aren't using your resources. You're not using your power to, you're not taking action to bring success to your life. This is manipulation right here. Self-sabotage. 
you're sabotaging your happy your own happiness and it's because there's a lack of of uh self-love i mean the empress upright is a is a birth it's a birth of a new idea it's waiting you're you're you have a new beginning waiting for you virgo it is But you're indecisive. You are. You're so indecisive. You have to make a difficult decision, and it's a, and it's a painful one. So therefore, I'd rather stay in denial and keep the blindfold on, and and stay in the safe zone because this is going to cause pain. It's a painful, stressful, hurtful decision that you have to make. I feel right now you are sitting on the fence. You don't want to accept the truth. You're in complete denial of a situation, whether this is work or love. Somebody is absolutely in denial, blocking their emotions, blocking the truth. And that is the truth. Okay, I can't change this. I don't know who this is for. You have to find strength. You have to find courage. You have to find confidence to let go of something. You have to find that force within you to master your emotions. You're beautiful. Beautiful. But you're somebody's in an unhappy relationship. This will not resonate with everybody, but this is for somebody in particular. I tend to connect with people that I need to connect with. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that I know who this is for. This is for somebody that is... This is for somebody... <laughs> Okay, this is for more than one person, all right? Somebody is in a very, very unhappy relationship. And they don't want conflict. I don't want conflict. I don't want to face any conflict. I just don't. I don't want any tension in my life, so I'm going to keep the blindfold on and pretend everything's okay when everything is not. Therefore, you're not following the script. There's... there's uh, Loss of self, repression, keeping this a secret. <laughs> yeah, it's a secret that I'm not happy. But all you have to do is work hard. Hard work pays off. If you, if you could find the strength, you would prevail. It's time to take the next step. It's time to stop stop uh, playing games. It's time to be flexible. You will adapt. You have to make a choice, a decision. It's time to free yourself. It's a time of liberation. Free yourself from this situation that you've been keeping a secret. You've been keeping it inside. Let it out. There's a new opportunity for love waiting for you. New opportunity waiting. But there's no wish fulfillment if you don't take action. No happiness in the current situation that you're in. <laughs> okay. All right. So there is some sort of commitment or contract or partnership that is uncompatible it's not working out it's, there's no happiness here but I pretend I'm happy I mean that is the truth somebody is absolutely pretending that they are good when they are not good you have somebody else that's better suited for you you do but you live, live with the consequences of your choice if you stay in this situation where there's no happiness there's no passion it's, yeah, you, there may be a marriage, there may be a, a certificate, but there ain't no love. So, I, I don't know who this is for. It will not resonate with everybody, but I think that divorce is on the mind. And the potential legal battles that come with it, that's an issue as well. It's time to stop worrying. It's time to stop losing sleep over this and stop letting guilt hold you back. It's time to stand up for yourself, even if it hurts, okay? There's conflicts throughout your life that you're going to have to deal with, and it takes strength.
to deal with conflicts. You have to stand up for yourself and you have to speak the truth. Stop ignoring the truth. It's You need to get moving. You need to get moving. Have no fear. Have no fear. It's time for you to take swift action. Be honest. Be honest. Whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, somebody needs to be honest here. You could be wanting to get the hell out of this situation. But right now, there's a lack of, of self-love. There's, there's, there's a lack of mastering emotions. You know? I, I can't. I, this is too emotional for me. I, I, I can't. But to find your ultimate happiness, you need, to, you need to get moving. You need to take action. You need to have no fear. Happiness is waiting for you. But you got to take the blindfold off to find this happiness. You need to accept the truth. Stop blocking the truth to find this happiness. You need to walk away. <laughs> oh my goodness. We already got the answer. This reading is about walking away. Walk away. I want to change your reading. I'm serious. I do. I'm sick of it. Somebody needs to find their strength to take the next step towards happiness and walk away. Stop ignoring the truth. It's killing you. Causing sleepless nights. Depression. It's time to focus on your future. And I think that you guys realize, you're starting to realize that, that your future looks bright. Look at, I mean, come on now, it does. If you were to leave this situation in three months, three years, whatever it is, things would be so bright and happy. But you lack confidence, you lack courage, and you lack strength. <laughs> I don't want to lose my money. I don't want to lose my home. I don't want to lose my house. I, you know, I don't want to lose any assets. Even though there's no love, there's assets. But you're being offered a fresh new start. You're being called to take a risk, to start over, to have this new beginning that you're dying to take. You have to take a risk and not take anything with you. This, this and not worry, this guy, he starts his new chapter. He starts his new journey with very, very, very little. It's not about the materialistic things. And you're going to continue to suffer until you find the strength to follow your heart. There's a lot of hurt here. There's a lot of heartache. There's a lot of pain. Somebody is suffering needlessly because they don't have the courage to take that next step. So, you know, as far as new love goes right now, I think there is an opportunity for new love waiting for you with that five of cups with the two cups right here. There is. There's a new prospect that's waiting for you. It's waiting. But you have to take that step. You do. Maybe you're just, maybe you have had the divorce, because I do see a divorce here, and you just aren't ready. That could be the case, but for some of you, you need to get the divorce. You do. You need to get the divorce. You need to make the move. For some of you, you know, you're still going through it, and you just, you're not quite ready to, to invite a partner into your life. You're still healing, whatever, because there is lack of healing with the Empress reversed. So some of you have a fresh start, a new beginning on the horizon if you walk away. If you have walked away, there could be a, a new beginning. There could be a new partner coming in. For some of you, I think if if you uh, if you are single, a new partner could be coming in three months. Okay, because three months is just shouting out in my head. 
So that could be coming in three months, which is, what is this, July, August, September, October, October. So, or maybe that's when the divorce is final in October. So something in three months, I don't know what it is, but this is a fresh new start. You get, get prepared for this fresh new start. But you have to, in order to get prepared for this fresh new start, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. So that's a message for somebody. Somebody is still healing from some sort of hurt if they have, have just gotten out of something. But if you have not, you are suffering at this point because you are still stuck in this position because of financial reasons. So, we are going to get a couple of Oracle cards and see what comes up. I'm not even sure what I used last time. I think I used this one and geez, oh God, I don't even know. I'm going to get one of these and one of these. So I feel as though you guys have a decision to make with that, with the uh, twos. Okay, we have the two of cups, we have the two of swords, and we have the two of pentacles. Two, two, two. Okay, that is about built, that's about faith and trust. Okay, you need to have faith and trust in your future. Okay. This is about making, twos are about choices. They're about decisions. You guys have to make a painful, stressful choice in which you have been turning a blind eye. I'm, I don't want to make this choice. I don't have the balls to do it. Right now I'm financially stable and secure and I don't want to lose all these things. I have a quote on my refrigerator. The best things in life's life aren't things. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. See, that's right. If you think positive, you move out of this situation that you're unhappy with, whether it's job or love, you will find something much, much, much more compatible. It's waiting. It's waiting. If you have left, you're still, you have to take the next steps to allow this in. Maybe if you're single, you're focused on your job more than you are love. And if that's the case, because this is somebody who's focused on, on money, seriously, and that is Virgo. So if you're focused on money, then you can't, ex in not finding love, not putting yourself up there. If you're pessimistic, then, you know, that's, that's your own issue. Um, I'm Virgo rising, so it's probably one of my issues as well. Just saying. Um, the union of hearts. Okay, there is a connection of love that defies explanation. There is, and we know we know who this is for because I've seen this card before. Why? I got goosebumps throughout my whole body. Are you denying it? There's a, a there's a new love that is waiting for you. And it's like you're throwing it away. Talk to you later.